A friend of mine shared a Robert Casimiro song, Aloha Aku, Aloha Mai. To give aloha is to receive aloha. And I think aloha is the relationship you have with nature, with ancestry, with culture, with each other, and with yourself. And I believe that hula encompasses the harmony and balance of all of that. There's a timelessness about hula. It could have happened yesterday or it could have happened 20 years ago. And that's something that I really like about doing hula images. I'm Floyd Takeuchi. I'm a photographer and also curator for this show. We have 11 artists in this show from multiple mediums, painters, printers, photographers, sculptors. And my idea was to bring a wide variety of ways to understand hula. the estate collection of John and Kate Kelly. We're really excited to be offering Kate's photographs for the first time in public of people in her community in the 30s and 40s. This is like hula that was really how it emerged in people's lives. Kate is well known as a sculptor, but her photographs are not really well known. So this is a very unique opportunity and exciting opportunity to share that work with the public. From my grandparents' hapahaole hulas to the annual holoku pageants at school, hula claims a little bit of the world that I embrace. One of the first paintings that I ever did was a still life of my mom's old uli uli. This show is kind of a full circle moment for me. I've been exploring a lot of other subject matter. The common threads, though, that move me remain the same. Light, shadow, shape movement, and a joy of bringing traditions into a modern world. I'm looking for that moment when the dancer has just finished pausing and is about to move. It's not frozen in action, but it's moving towards action. I want to capture the grace and the flow, and I want to capture the passion of the dancer, and I want the viewer to feel passion when they look at the sculpture. I really am drawn to those little in-between moments. I really feel like that's part of hula also, you know, the getting ready, helping each other fix the hair, the skirts, the reverence that they have for the kumu. I think that's all important to document that in some way. Hula has so many layers to it. In the same way, my artwork has many textures. Using different kinds of paints, different kind of brush strokes, my paintings will reflect the deep respect I have for Hawaiian culture and hula and all the layers that it entails. We all think we know hula. We've all seen hula in some fashion. I think having these 11 artists with very different perspectives, very different mediums, is going to be a real eye-opener for folks to understand how diverse the beauty of Hula really is.